Okay, so hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I know, bit of a new look today. I barely do any eyeshadow. I definitely don't do like bleached eyebrows. Tell me what you guys think. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with the eyebrows. Right, so I'm in the middle of editing and I've just realized like, I absolutely find the way my eyebrows look hideous. If you guys know which look I was trying to recreate, then you're on the right side of TikTok. And if you don't, get on the right side of TikTok by searching up Spaghetti 4000 and she is unreal. Anyway, today I am back with another clothing haul. I just realized that I've not put on eyelashes. So let me go put my eyelashes on and be right back. I can't believe I started filming without my eyelashes. So today I have partnered up with Pretty Little Thing. So they reached out to me and they've sent me some of these items. I have also bought the majority of these items myself. So it's a bit half and half. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Pretty Little Thing is a brand that I've wanted to work with for quite a while. So yeah, I'm not gonna make the intro long at all. I've got a lot of stuff that I wanna show you guys. So make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. Also, I've left the best outfits to last, so make sure you stay tuned um, for my absolute favourite, favourite, must-have bits. Let's just get started. Also, what do you guys think of my nails? So the first thing that I'm going to start off with, I'm actually going to start off talking about my shoes that I got is a gorgeous black pair of shoes. So it came in a box like this. This is the shoe. So this is it from the side, it has pretty little thing in the middle and then this is the other side. It also has these long strings as well. I absolutely am obsessed with these shoes. I think they are such a gorgeous pair of shoes. One thing I will say is that the quality of the band is really soft and really nice. I think it's like a foam sort of product, it's like squishy so it goes down like that. They're not the most comfortable pair of heels. But I mean, I'm really much like a trainer girl. I never wear heels. I am not used to really high heels. So these are quite high, I'm not gonna lie. But I think that's just a per personal thing for me just cause I'm not used to heels. So it's got a square front like that. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels like a quite expensive shoe. So the next thing is a blazer. I think this is the most expensive thing in the whole haul. This is like the sleeve and then all that embroidered pattern work honestly guys the detailing on this is absolutely stunning i saw molly may wear this on the website i was scrolling through the website and i saw molly may wear this she looked like a boss like this is such a boss blazer i think it looks sophisticated i think it looks elegant i think it looks very expensive it's such good quality it's very heavy but i quite like that it's heavy because i think the heavier it is like the more money that i've spent on it the, the velvety material is really really soft really beautiful i got a size 10 in this and i think i could have gotten away with then even a size smaller i think i would pair this with just cycling shorts and then maybe them black heels now of course it's not a video of mine without a cord i've only have one cord in this so i found this cord but they're two separate items so you have to buy them both individually so i think i'll start off with the top so it's this halter neck vibrant orange crop top like this the color does look like that in real life obviously it's a halter top so it's backless like this quite stretchy as well so you could get away with sizing a bit down i got size 10 it fit really nice it didn't feel too big or too loose if i was to wear the top by itself i think i'd just pair it with ripped denim jeans and then an orange heel as well and then the second part of this cohort is a matching skirt so this is the skirt right here got like a little elastic band the back is literally just the same the skirt itself i think is really really cute and um, it fits quite nice i wish i did get a smaller size i got a size 12 because the fabric is really stretchy you can get a smaller size i think the cohort together is definitely something that i can see myself wearing on holiday i think i could wear it to a brunch but i could also wear it on a night out depending on how i'm feeling the quality feels really good they look really cute together so i really have nothing bad to say about this you guys know i had to include a cohort so that's the one that i chose and i'm very very happy with it okay now the next piece i can already tell this is going to be a very controversial piece you're either gonna absolutely love it and think it's the coolest thing in the world or you're gonna hate it and think that i'm absolutely crazy for even picking this out so it's basically this cut out asymmetrical long sleeve top like this 
So this is how it looks. That's the front of it. The back of it looks like this. And then the sleeves are like this and it has strings so you can, you know, runch up the sleeves but you can also wear them quite long. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this is part of the Doja Cat collection. If it's not, this is definitely something that I can see her wear. I think this I'd wear with just black leather shorts. I'd definitely keep the rest of the outfit quite simple It'll just cause it's such a statement piece. I got this in a size 12, just cause I was scared of it being too tight. Um, but I wish I got a size 10 or even a size 8 because it does fit me quite big. It's completely my fault, nothing to do with pretty little thing. I just did not check my size in properly. Okay, so the next thing is something also that is quite bold or like a statement piece. So it's this satin runched up top. It's like a halter neck top, so it's like this from the front and then backless so that's the front of it and it will runch up and um, the color is that beautiful in person as it is it's coming off on camera it also has a zip at the side which i think is really really good especially because with satin clothes they don't really stretch and um, i got it in a size 12 again i wish i sized down i don't know why i got it in a size 12 i think i was just scared of it not stretching and not fitting across my boobs one thing i will say is that it is a little bit wrinkled up so i will have to you know either steam it or iron it but other than that absolutely nothing bad to say about this top i think it's such a cute little look i think this would look good with denim and um, blue denim or i think it would look with white as well definitely a keeper this one definitely something worth looking into if this is your sort of style okay, next i've got another top so this is something that actually did not <laughs> look nice on me at all this is a mesh long sleeved top with like a buckle this is what it looks like and then long sleeves like this the problem i had with this is that i don't think it was quite big boob friendly if you have you know bigger boobs you know that like boobs weigh a lot so they sort of or mine do at least they sort of kind of sag down sounds a bit weird but it's just the reality like they're not stuck to your chest up perky all the time mine are quite heavy and it it needs a little bit of support to keep them up i did get it in a size 12 as well so it wasn't the size in um, I think this is just more suited to someone if you've got smaller boobs. Not taken away from the design and the way that it looks. It is absolutely amazing. The quality is really nice. It's mesh, it's stretchy. This buckle feels quite good quality, but it just was not giving me the support that I sort of need for my body. Not for my body type, unfortunately, but I do know they've got a lot of other tops in this style that are more, you know, big boob friendly. So I'll definitely be looking into some of them for the next Pretty Little Thing haul, maybe? I don't know, Pretty Little Thing. We'll do the next one, hopefully. Okay, so seeing that I'm on the tops already, go on to the top that I actually have on right now. This is a purple, pinky, white toned Renaissance painting corset top. It has straps at the front so you can tie it in and cinch in your waist a bit more. It has like thick stitching right here. The quality of this top I'm blown away by because I've bought quite a few corset tops and they're not really corset tops, they're just that thin flimsy material that doesn't actually cinch in your waist. But this oh my god it feels super super comfortable to sit in i think that it is the perfect most versatile piece out of probably anything that i have in here you can dress this up you can dress this down i could wear this to shopping i could wear this for dinner i could wear this on a night out if you do like something that cinches in your waist a bit more this is definitely the top for you you can probably tell if you've ever been on my instagram but i do like clothes that sort of you know give me that suffocated look but yeah this is honestly my favorite top out of all of them and i will be getting a lot of wear out of this so next thing i'm going to go on to is the bottoms like the pants that i've bought the first thing i'm going to show you is my actual favorite so this is part of the doja cat collection and when i tell you this is my favorite pair of pants that i own ever hello do you guys see that like snake print like that reptile look but you know when you buy leather sometimes it gives off that really disgusting smell this is not like that obviously it's not real leather it fits really nice it has a place for a belt the bottoms of it are flared one thing i will say is that this is a bit more taller girl friendly it was quite long on me with a pair of heels they're fine 
but it was quite long on me. It was off pure Doja Cat energy as well. And I am absolutely obsessed with her and I'm obsessed with her whole collection on Pretty Little Thing. I definitely recommend you guys to go check it out if you haven't already. So the next like trouser slash bottom that I got is these lime split hem, slip, slit, slip, slit hem. So they're these lime faux leather split hem trousers these trousers are really really nice i got them in a size 12 i wish i got them in a size 10 simply because they're a bit big around the waistband for me the color of this is what initially initially why is that word coming out of my mouth like that initially attracted me to it i think if you're looking for a more modest outfit then a pair of trousers like this is something to keep an eye out for also let me know if you guys want me to do like model modest outfit looks because i do appreciate the fact that some people you know, are not comfortable wearing things that are so revealing so let me know if you guys want that i definitely do try to incorporate a few modest pieces in my hauls but i do know that i've not been doing much so i'm thinking of dedicating like a whole video to just modest outfit looks and stuff that i have in mind but yeah anyway back to the trousers they're a bit too long on me but that's my height's fault. They're a bit more tall girl friendly, I would say, but they're still really, really cute. So the next thing I have is something also that I saw Molly Mae wear on their website. And I just have an issue. Whatever she wears on the site just looks so good that I'm just willing to spend all my money on her clothes. So it's this mesh maxi dress. It's sort of like a beach cover up, I think. On the site, she had like a matching bikini on underneath. So it is quite low neck and then it's just you know very long maxi dress like so the pattern on this i think is something really really cool i really like the colors i can't see myself wearing this in the uk i can't see myself wearing this on holiday i won't lie though on the website when i saw molly may in it the bikini underneath the matching one i did think that the bikini came with it but it's not it's just the maxi dress the way that this makes your body look I really love. I think it's very, very flattering. It gives you that jiggle. You know, you know that jiggle. If there is no junk in the trunk, this is gonna create the junk and put it in the trunk. I am an absolute weirdo. I can't believe I just said that. But I said it and I stand by it. Now, the next dress, this is allowing me to live my ABBA Mamma Mia fantasy. This dress is 100% that vibe. It just makes me go on, want to go on holiday and go the Mamma Mia destinations and rewatch the films and cry and laugh and sing. I'm just gonna show you. So this is the dress. I mean, look at them sleeves. If this doesn't give you Donna and the dynamite vibes, then I don't know what will. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the closest that we're ever gonna get to Meryl Streep. Just go get this dress. Literally just go get this dress bit. So I got it a size 10. It is a very stretchy material. So I got it in a size 10. To be honest, I could get it in a size eight. It's just that sort of material where it stretches really, really big. I think if you're a bit on the petite side, definitely size down because it stretches and it does fit quite big. Can we just take a moment of silence for the colors? I need to go watch Mamma Mia tonight. 100 million percent, I have to go watch Mamma Mia tonight. Who wanted to pop by and say hello? completely irrelevant but if you have a cat and you've got a brush like this just give it to him because look what he'll do he just falls asleep look he's literally just trying to fall asleep say hi to the camera come on not usually shy at all i definitely underestimated how many pieces of clothing i've got quite a few more dresses left and then i've left my absolute favorite favorite dress to last so this next dress is brown retro floral print bodycon dress i got it in a size 12 fits amazing don't size down in this because it's not a stretchy material it's one dress but sort of looks like there's two parts so this is the top part it attaches like a diamond and the bottom part is like 
this. It's like a satin silky sort of material. I really am in love with this dress. It has a zip as well, this dress, which is, like I said previously, it's good for dresses that aren't, you know, stretchy to have zips. Um, I like how it makes my body look. It makes my waist look quite small. It is a little bit tighter on my hips, but I mean, it's completely understandable because it's not a stretchy material. It still fits, but it's just a tiny bit tight. But yeah, definitely a beautiful dress and something that I'm really excited and looking forward to getting a chance to wear out hopefully when everything opens back up now for the next thing so it's called tan butterfly print tiered strappy skater dress and I got a size 12 it has a zip it's not stretchy it's got these two sort of boob areas and it's like ruffle i think the pattern on this is very very pretty there's little butterflies and like different tones going throughout the whole thing this color palette is super nice i think this as well if you're not into like the super i don't want to say girly colors but if you're not into the super like cutesy pastel -y colors and you want something a bit more edgy i think this is the sort of dress for you hopefully i'll have an instagram picture out of this today i think i'm feeling like this with this makeup look i'm feeling this type of dress now we are on to the last two pieces favorite pieces out of the entire haul they're both dresses and i'm just gonna shut up and show you guys so this is the first dress all the way down okay and then low cut out back it's that type of material just makes your body like oh so 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 flattering this sort of pattern as well it definitely gives you more shape so if you want that more hourglass sort of look or just more shape to your body then just this dress is definitely for you i'm not gonna lie i did see a girl on tiktok wear this and the video went viral and i became absolutely obsessed with it unfortunately it was sold out but it's back in stock hopefully it's still in stock now but definitely just run and get this dress clothes aren't there to make you feel confident and to make you feel happy and this dress is that and everything more for me now the second favorite i can't pick between these two which one is my favorite favorite first of all this dress is a surprise to the people that know me we're planning to go to the ivy in manchester and this is the dress that i'm gonna wear to the ivy so you know who you are get off this video please you cannot see this dress because it is a surprise okay now i'm actually gonna show you guys the dress this is the top of it this is the bottom like that and it's split at the side and look at the back look at the back near like the bottom area i mean it already looks like you've got a big ass and i'm not even wearing it it makes me feel like I've got the absolute smallest waist ever. It makes my bum look massive, like actually massive, like unnaturally massive. It's got a split. It's elegant. The color is beautiful. The feel of the material is so, so nice and expensive looking. And I got it in size 12. Fits amazing. Fits amazing. I could have gotten it in size 10. But I'm very happy that I got it in the 12 because it gives me that room and that movement. But I think this is the most beautiful thing in my entire wardrobe. And if not, especially one of the most beautiful things in this haul. You know, in between this dress and the last dress. But I think this dress, picking it up and holding it in my hands, I think this is for the win. Let me know what you guys think. Blue or green in the comments below. We're going to have a little bit of a debate which one is the dress for the summer because I really love this, but I love this so much as well. So let me know what you guys think, blue dress or green dress. That is it for this video. It's definitely been quite a long haul. I hope you guys like the items that I picked out for you guys. A big thank you to Pretty Little Thing for collaborating with me on this video. Of course, all opinions are my own. You guys appreciate that, and I'm sure a brand like Pretty Little Thing appreciates honesty as well. Definitely let me know if you guys want a part two. I would love to make another Pretty Little Thing haul. Make sure to like and subscribe this video and to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. Definitely follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with these videos. So I'm not gonna blabber on anymore. So I love you guys so, so much. Bye.